one? Which one? They say this is the first sign of madness. Very funny, Rabia. I'm trying to make an important decision. About the business, Abu? Yes. I can't decide whether to expand the fruit or the juice business. That's easy, Abu. The juice business. Why on earth would you do that? The juice business has more expenses. It requires a lot more labor. Your father works much longer hours now that he's also doing juice. That may be true, but the juice business has higher profit margins, Ammi. That's a very good point, Shireen. In the long run, the juice business will be far more profitable. It will be worth the extra labor and expenses. Imagine you have a business selling pomegranates. In one month, you sell one kilogram of fruit for 250 rupees. Your income is 250 rupees. Rent, electricity, and other expenses per kilogram of fruit sold is 25 rupees. One kilogram of fruit cost you 200 rupees. Your expenses per kilogram of fruit are 225 rupees. Your actual profit per kilogram will be 25 rupees. Your profit margin is expressed as a percentage. You find out your profit margin by dividing your profit by your income. 25 rupees of profit divided by 250 rupees of income equals 10%. This means that for every rupee of income from fruit sales, you will earn 10% in profit. Now imagine you have a business that sells pomegranate juice. In one month, you sell one kilogram of fruit as fruit juice for 450 rupees. Your income is 450 rupees. One kilogram of fruit costs 200 rupees. Rent, electricity and other expenses per kilogram of fruit sold is 25 rupees. You also have 45 rupees of bottling and storing expense. Your total expenses are 270 rupees. Your profit will be 180 rupees. 180 rupees of profit divided by 450 rupees of income equals 40%. This means that for every rupee of income from juice sales, you will earn 40% in profit. Now imagine you sell 100 kilograms of whole fruit and 10 kilograms of fruit juice. Your overall profit from fruit sales will be bigger, but your profit margin from juice sales will be higher. Generally, you should grow businesses with higher profit margins. With higher profit margins, you will earn more profit per rupee of income and expense. You will need less money to run the business. And if you need to cut prices, you can do so and still make a profit.